Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be touring this Fleetwood home. The name of this home is the Berkshire, and it's by Fleetwood Homes. We're not gonna waste a whole lot of time. Let's go on in and see what this home looks like. Again, it's a Fleetwood home. Excuse all the noise. And the name of the home is Berkshire. So already I see just how beautiful this home is. I'm gonna turn around and let you see the living room. This is where we came in. And that is the living room right there. Really, really awesome. All right, so let's see if we can adjust the color. So this is the living room right here. Really nice and open. And it opens up to the kitchen. Now, the kitchen has a big island in the middle. Really, really pretty. Black appliances in this one. You've got your sink over the, your window over the sink. Huge, huge counter. Lots of space for three or four. Four bar stools can go there. You've got your pendant lighting up ahead. You know, you get these houses and they may not have necessarily what you want in them. You can change that pendant lighting to whatever lighting that you want, as well as the lights in the ceiling. Those can be changed. I love, love, love the flooring in here. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This light floor is really on trend. This is, I feel, the dining room area. But what they've done in here is they have the dining room area on the other side. Now you could do one or two things. You can put your dining room table over in this area on this side of the kitchen, which is what I would do. And then this area over here would be like a family area or a den. And that's what I would do. But they put a, a big table over here. You could absolutely do that as well. Um, Use this as your dining room on this side. Hang a nice chandelier from up there. Um, and you could use this as extra kitchen space. You could even bring the cabinets all the way around on this area is what I'm thinking. You could have um, shelving with all your appliances. You can make this a sitting area, a desk area, just whatever you like. But this is the entire space here. And again, it opens up to the living room. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You've got really nice open island right there. So beautiful. This kitchen has a pantry. I would add more shelves in there to maximize the space. It only has two shelves, but again, you can add additional shelving, bring them closer together. I love the antique white cabinets in here. Same color hutch. Love it. Love the little peephole up there. You can put some decor. You can also put decor depending on what it is on top of the cabinets. But I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The walls in this one are gray versus the beige or white walls that homes normally have. We are next to a train track, you guys. I hear the train. I keep losing the lighting. I'm going to pause for a minute and try to fix the ISO. I'll be right back. All right, so that's your dining room right there. We'll start in the back down this hallway. So this first room is a guest bathroom. You got a transom window in the guest bathroom. Just a standard bathroom, tub and shower combo. Really nice. You got a single sink and bathroom. Got your mirror right there. Ample space in this bathroom, right? And then next to the bathroom, you have your back door. So let's walk into the in here 
Oh wow, you got space for your washer and dryer here. And you also got space for a utility, um, for utility storage. So you can put um, something here uh, for storage, just like this beautiful bookcase is or whatever you like. You could do something else in that area. You could put a deep freezer. There's a plug just under there but you got nice space in here. And I like the way it's set up, this back door. So the back door is away from the kitchen. They're usually off the kitchen, but you got back door on the other side of the back of the house. Now, across from the utility room is one of the guest bedrooms. People always trip about me calling these guest bedrooms. Until you get in here and give them a name, if you go on a tour, with a realtor or somebody at a mobile home lot, these are called guest bedrooms. So that's why I say it. They are just that. They could be a kid's room, a nursery, a playroom, whatever you like once you purchase it. But professionally, they're called a guest bedroom if they're not in the master. So this is a closet in this bedroom. It doesn't have the carpet in the closet, but there is carpet out in the bedroom. So this is the first guest bedroom, okay? And then we'll come back toward the kitchen area. Over here, you got two more bedrooms. You got a guest bedroom over here. Seems to be the same size as the first guest bedroom. Same size closet. Shut the door so you can see the whole room. So that's the second guest bedroom. And then you've got a third guest bedroom over here, which has furniture to give you an idea how much space. So this is good, nice size space for your kids, for a guest room, for an office, for whatever you like. And again, same size closet. I'll move closer to the closet. So you can see. Got this new camera, you guys. I gotta figure out how to adjust the lighting so it doesn't go in and out when I'm facing the light. All right, so that's uh, three bedrooms. They all appear to be the same size, one here. Now this is a little hallway. So you got two bedrooms in there. And then down the hall, you have a bedroom. Across from that bedroom is the utility room and you have a bathroom. So three bedrooms and a bathroom on this side of the house. We're gonna go back through again. This is the Fleetwood. I'm out at Vivian Homes in Baldwin, Georgia. I don't think I said that. Fleetwood Homes in Baldwin, Georgia. This is a Fleetwood and the name of it is the Berkshire. Now this is your master bedroom here. Got some furniture in here to give you an idea. Nice size bedroom. Give you an idea of what it would look like with the furniture. All right, so that's the master bedroom. And then we'll turn around here and we have the master bath. When you walk in, you got two sinks to the right. Nice space on the counter. The one thing that I wish was different about our bathroom is the sinks are so close together. And this one has a lot of space on the cabinet, on the counter. You got a tub right there. Now it almost looks like it would be a tub and shower, but it's not, it's just a tub. Behind the door is the shower right there. You've got a seat in the shower where you can sit down or put your feet up. It doesn't have a door, but you have a separate area right here for the toilet. There's no door here, but you have a, a, a measure of privacy and then through here you have a door to the master
closet. Now, this is a large closet, you guys. It goes deep. So let's see if we can stand over here and show you. So this is the closet. I'm standing in the closet and you got all of this space. So you got a nice master closet in here, off in the restroom. And from this corner, got your sinks there, your shower, there's your closet back there, your toilet room, and your tub. Nice wide tub. Okay. All right, let's go see how much this puppy cost. Again, this is a Fleetwood, Fleetwood home. This Fleetwood home is called the Berkshire. I'm gonna let this rest here for a minute so you can see all the stuff that's included in the price and how they break it down. You don't often see that on these price lists, but this home is $85,995. And that is the price list or the breakdown of what went into the cost of that $85,995. As you can see, it includes stuff like base cabinet, shelves, dishwasher, faucets, uh, tubs, all of that, all of those stuff um, that makes up the price. $85,995. If there are any pictures of this home on the website, I'll be sure to place those in the video next. But this is a Fleetwood home. The name of this home is Berkshire. $85,995. $95, okay? Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure, If you do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you know every time I upload one of these tours. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.